This is my opinion. I will stand by it. But if you want to tweet it out to your friends, you know, I will, uh, uh, I'm, I can't say this is what everybody would say is that this practice is like, but I believe it is. And why is guardianship litigation more cutthroat not continuous, but it is continuous. It never seems to end. That's said, say, contentious. Emotional than a state litigation. To me, it's the most adversarial of adversarial proceedings. Why? We have no dead man statute in guardianship proceedings. In a state litigation, you cannot say, you cannot discuss what the deceased would have wanted. They either wrote it down and it's in their will, they've made their plans in advance or they haven't. In a guardianship proceeding, people say whatever they want. This is what Johnny wanted, this is what my father wanted, he never would have wanted this, we want that. It is very, very prone to litigation and there's no protection from the dead man statute. That's the importance of having everything done in advance. Your power of attorney, statutory gift writer, healthcare proxy, and living will. Why else? It's damn expensive. It's very, very expensive. If you're a person in the city and you have no assets, it may not be a situation where you're gonna have outside counsel brought in, mental hygiene legal services will be appointed to represent you, and the city will pay attorneys a fairly low fee to bring the guardianship, or they will appoint a court evaluator, we'll talk about that, to make a recommendation to the court which if by cons the AIP consents, a guardian will be appointed for them. So there you're not talking a lot about a money. Never, never undertake a guardianship with the thought that you can get out of it. You need court permission. So get your retainer and consider somewhere between fifteen to twenty thousand dollars for a non litigious guardianship. Start litigate you start the you know adversarial proceeding, watch the number go up. Why else? It tears families apart. Remember that picture of Mrs. Astor? Who knows, anyone know about that case? Basically, we had a son who was brought up on criminal charges for abusing his 104, I think, year old mother. Mrs. Astor, the biggest philanthropist and one of the biggest philanthropists in New York in the century. He and his wife and an attorney and an accountant all accused of fraud, and it all came out because he was asked to be appointed guardian. 